If you haven't subscribed to my video, please do. If you enjoy watching my videos, hit like. If you've been catching my videos on Facebook, do share them across. Uh, this week's video is going to be about monthly favorite picks. So my friend Melody Peters, just this person right here, actually told me to do monthly favorites. And I was like, what should I do? I do random videos and everything. I do tech reviews, I review outings during the weekends. He said, yeah, do that. You know, have a monthly favorite picks. It's already March. Uh, some might have stuck with a March video, but I'm just going to backtrack and do a favorite January video. Daddy? Yes. You want to see up here? Come. Okay, so enjoy the video. Say hi there to the camera. Uh, Say hi. Uh, please like, subscribe, share, subscribe, share. So, enjoy the video. Okay, so my January picks for favorite things I want to share with all of you which is music, entertainment, gadgets. Let me tell you first that when I touch gadgets, it could mean electronic gadgets, it could mean non-electronic gadgets. First of all, number one, music. I would like to recommend this soundtrack. I love this soundtrack so much that I've been listening to it for now and then. Like the whole soundtrack is awesome. It's actually from a motion picture, Tron Legacy. The one that was responsible to do the whole soundtrack was actually Daft Punk. I do know that I am the type of person that listens to punk rock, hard rock and so on. But listening to this mellow, emotional kind of techno really... Uh, I mean, I got hooked into it and it's just great. I'm a fan of Tron uh, that was released like, what, 30 years ago? and. Uh, latest one was so awesome because with all the new technologies and everything if you watch the movie you would realize how good the soundtrack is how it manages to capture the emotions of the movie and put you in an awe i mean the movie itself is very very dark at the same time it has all these neon lights theme kind to it and it's very digital driven kind of theme and Daft Punk's arrangement of the soundtrack is just awesome. I want you to listen to the soundtrack itself but at the same time I want you guys to experience the soundtrack while watching the trailer. So here you go, here's a trailer to Tron Legacy and try and see where I'm coming from when I say that the soundtrack is really really awesome. Okay, secondly, uh, my favorite pick for the month of January. So if you hear that background of sound, it's actually my daughter watching her cartoon. My second pick, which is for entertainment, I'm picking this. I'm not one, but I'm picking two TV series that was featured in Netflix. It was released like August and October last year. But reason why I'm putting in my January favorites is because I actually watch both these series in January itself. These two series is not related to each other directly but it's somehow entertaining if you were to watch it back to back. The first one that you should watch is this series called Mindhunter. It's available on Netflix. It tells a story of the FBI agents 
before they had psychological advantage in profiling serial killers during that time which was back in 1977 it shows how these two FBI agents went on a limb to do experiments on trying to profile the killers that was captured and tried to profile them into figuring out how to handle future cases so they actually went on and interviewed this famous serial killer called Edmund Kemper and the series was great. The first few episodes was directed by David Fincher. It's really slow. You might find it boring like in the first two episodes but if you have patience like me and you watch it throughout like up until episode 4 and 5 that's the time where you s actually start to appreciate how the storytelling is being made and develop this curiosity on where the storytelling is going to lead to. So it's a great series and the reason why I asked you to watch this first is because the second series that I'm going to recommend to you is also on Netflix. It's a series called Manhunt Yuna Bomber. Actually a series on the serial killer bomber. The Yuna Bomber stands for, it's a short form for University and Airlines because that's the first few things that he actually bombed and this timeline actually took place from 1978 to 19, 1995 which was almost 20 years that he went around and the FBI did not manage to capture him. The timeline is just right after when FBI started using psychological studies to profile their serial killers. And the interesting portion in Unabomber is agents uh, which was active on the case started using forensic science and psychological studies to figure out identity of the Unabomber which led them to this new method called linguistic forensics. And from there, they managed to try and figure out the age of the bomber, gender, location where he was from, level of intelligence that he has. And it's just mind-blowing watching these two series back to back. To let you understand what I'm talking about, I'm gonna play Mindhunter's uh, trailer, partial of it, and also Unabomber's trailer. It's not easy butchering people. It's hard work. Physically and mentally, I don't think people realize you need to vent. You know, there's a lot more like me. Do you think so? 40 years ago, your FBI was founded hunting down John Dillinger. Now, we have extreme violence between strangers. We travel around the country and teach FBI techniques to cops. You guys mind if I bother you for a minute? She was found cuffed and lashed to the bed. What people won't do to each other. There's nothing people won't do. How can we help? We should be using every resource we can, talking to the smartest people we find from the broadest possible spectrum. Are criminals born? Or are they formed? Psychopaths are convinced that there's nothing wrong with them, so these men are virtually impossible to study, yet you have found a way in near-perfect laboratory conditions. Hello, ladies. That's what makes this so exciting and potentially so far-reaching. I can't let these guys rub off on me. The way they view sex. And women. It is not our job to commiserate with these people. It is our job to electrocute them. We can't like everything we do. We're talking to serial killers. Serial killers. New terminology. I'm trying to warn you. Your attitude is going to bite you in the ass. So young to be ruining people's lives. What did you do? You're developing a pattern of behavior that will not sustain you here. Agent Ford, if you leave, I can't help you. There's no procedural rule book for how to talk to these people. If any of this is going to work, we need to talk to more subjects. More! You want truffles? You gotta get in the dirt with the pigs. I want you to think about the mail for a minute. A piece of paper from across a continent went from passing notes in class. If a box comes with your name on it, you can't even imagine doing anything other than obeying. We are hunting the deadliest serial bomber in history. The Unabomber. For 17 years, he's been planting and mailing bombs, and we really have no friggin' clue who he is or why he's doing this. That the Unabomb case was over. Three new mail bombs, more deadly than before. I've had profilers working on this thing for 15 years, and we're right back to where we started. I need somebody that sees things differently, and like it or not, that's you. All right. I don't have any friends, even though I'm talking to. 
These aren't personal targets. They are representational targets. You're sending a message. That's why you used me. We don't know what connects them. We don't know his code. Gotta make him hear you. Gotta make him listen. We're still assuming he's a low IQ, pissed off airline mechanic, when he's actually been outsmarting us the whole time. You ever think that the reason you haven't got him in 17 years is that you're underestimating him? Last but not least, the item that I picked for number three, which is gadget recommendations. Not gadget per se, it's actually uh, an item which not many people have, but its usage is great. So it's actually this. It's a back scratcher. Not everyone has it, but being a person like I am, I'm not that flexible because I don't do yoga and so on. So I can't reach certain portions of my back. Being unable to reach certain portions of my back, sometimes you have that annoying, feeling of an itch way at the back where you can't reach for it you don't feel like moving your body on a rough surface to scratch it out you can use the back scratcher you can get this for about less than it's less than 20 ringgit uh i didn't get this online i think you can find this online on, on, on lelung or lazada but i went to this shop called mr diy and they were selling it for i think 8 ringgit or 12 ringgit but whatever it is it's lesser than, it's it's definitely below 20 ringgit something that you might want to consider to have uh, if you're like me so you can just scratch your back Anywho, that's all for me I would like to say thank you if you watch this video if you have any comments you can leave it in the comment section below so before I go I'd like to say thank you to Shark and Wales for sponsoring my alternative review collaboration with Shark and Wales It's actually a streetwear clothing, starting small. You can find the link below in the description if you're interested to see what kind of t-shirts they have. I'm quite excited. I'm actually doing a, figuring out the designs to do a cap, which I'm collaborating with Shark and Wheels as well. Until the next time, I see you on my video. Enjoy life and always open up your creativity. Without further ado, peace.